Child psychology, are the effects of privation reversible? The, the study of Jeannie. The study of Jeannie suggests that privation is not reversible. She was not able to properly develop language, and even after some time and given treatment, it was still clear that Jeannie was not developing in a typical way. However, there was some progress, as she did learn some language, how to communicate and how to interact with people. So to this extent, at least, the effects of privation may be reversible. One main problem with the study is the lack of a baseline measure. It was not completely clear that Jeannie was developing typically before being mistreated so badly. Therefore, the outcome may involve nature, not nurture. The study of the Czech twins. The Czech twins study suggests that privation is reversible. They were developmentally behind for their age when found, but they improved reasonably quickly. By the age of 11, their speech was normal for their age, and by the age of 15, their IQ was normal for their age. They were given special care, so it might be that privation is only reversible with extra special care. On the other hand, Jeannie was given special care too, which suggests that that is not enough. A strength of the Czech twins study is that it was longitudinal and the twins were interviewed again many years later, 1991, and found to be happy and settled as well as in stable relationships, so the evidence for privation being reversible is strong. However, they did have each other, so their attachment to each other could have been enough, which would mean that this was not privation as such.